everybody, I am Jared Clark with Air Guns of Arizona. Here in my hands is the brand new LCS Air Arms SK-19 Select Fire between semi-auto and fully automatic pre-charged air rifle. Let's get to the unboxing and take a closer look at this thing. Brand new to the market, the guns are assembled in North Carolina, so they're here in the USA. And so far, this one has been nothing but absolute fun and exciting, and I'll stop talking about it and just open the box to show you what we're talking about. This particular model is called the SK-19. We can see it comes in this nice hard latching case, plenty of room for a scope, and something that's small but unique in the unboxing, it has these little Velcro straps that just prevent it really from going anywhere. So it's small features, but really like that on the hard case. Here is the gun itself. Gorgeous little gun, 35 inches in overall length, just over seven pounds without a scope as it sits here. So a very compact, very good looking gun. The only other thing that comes in the hard case is going to be the owner's manual here. This will have good advice and basically cover everything I'm about to in this video. So good reference to have, keep it with the gun box. And now let's take a look at this gun here because this is something to get excited about. Externally, gorgeous gun. Everything you can see, carbon fiber shroud, carbon fiber bottle. The magazine is made out of solid titanium, stainless steel everywhere else. So I was told this gun doesn't have any components that can rust. It's all stainless steel and titanium. And that's where you can see it kind of reflected in that seven pounds. It's, it's a good weight because all of the material used is very, very high quality. The entire 19 shot magazine can be emptied in a matter of seconds. Fire. Wow. So we went ahead and mounted the Aztec Optics 5.5 to 25 power scope. And you can see here, this thing is pretty good looking and compact. Like we talked about earlier, 35 inches in overall length, just over seven pounds without a scope, right at about nine pounds here with the scope on it. So very versatile and a lot of power really for how small the gun is. It's capable of doing a lot of foot pounds for 22 and 25 caliber respectively. Also, the gun is chambered in both 22 and 25 calibers. We're gonna touch on power available, number of shots per fill, all of that good stuff on the range at 20 yards like we normally do. So plenty of that coming for you. Right now, what we're gonna do is just take a look at this thing externally and highlight the features starting at the back. Your buttstock is a nice rubberized kind of molded uh, piece here. It makes it very comfortable when it's on your shoulder. This is the select fire right here. This is what makes this gun one of a kind, brand new to the market. You can see it has safe, it has semi and it has auto. And yes, that does mean semi-automatic and fully automatic. You can get a quick follow-up shot or you can get 19 quick follow-up shots in the matter of one trigger pull. So, and as you can notice, there is no, there's no cocking arm on this gun. It's a hammerless valve. It uses nothing basically than the last shot. And this arm right here makes this gun one of a kind. Right next to that is a nice gauge. This gauge is zoomed in kind of tighter on the 100 to 200 and gives you more increments. So this is your regulator pressure. It'll tell you what your regulator is operating at. And it's always a good reference here if you wanna know for power, for air in the gun. In front of that, you have a nice titanium arm here. So this is the magazine lock. For this gun to operate the way that it does with the semi and the full auto, the magazine stays fixed on the gun at all times. So it doesn't come out. What it does is it actually rotates kind of like a revolver. So when you have this arm up, you can rotate it freely. When you lock it into place, everything tightens up and you can't rotate it. So magazine lock right there. So when it's up, you can rotate, you can load the magazine and rotate it. When you're done loading the magazine, you lock it into place and now only the gun firing will cause it to rotate. You can't freely spin it. So we have all that right here. Right below this here is kind of a knob. This knob has some detents in it, kind of hard to hear. 
but this is your power adjuster. Backing it out will increase your power, giving you more velocity. Turning it in is gonna decrease your velocity, giving you less power. You do have a pretty good amount of adjustability between here. The 25 caliber is in my hands. I would say it's probably adjustable between about 40 and 70 foot pounds all on the wheel here without touching the reg pressure, without doing anything other than just either backing this out all the way or tightening it in. So good amount of adjustment there really lets you fine tune the gun for what you want. Okay, so that is kind of the, the the powerhouse of this gun right here. This is where a lot of it's going on. You can kind of see in these vents here, he's a 24 inch match polygon barrel, which you can kind of see through the windows here. It runs all the way out until this nice looking carbon fiber shroud. So that is lightweight. It gives the gun a really good look. And then the moderator as well. They both stay connected. It's kind of a unique way it connects. So my best advice so far is just to leave all that connected. It tensions the barrel. It's okay for this to spin freely because it actually secures it with tension from the front. On top of the shroud and the whole gun, you have a Picatinny rail. This has kind of become the industry norm, makes it easy to switch scopes, do a lot of things interchangeably with the Picatinny style. So you have the Picatinny rail up top for your scope and any kind of accessories you might need up top. You also have running up underneath the gun, another Picatinny rail. I personally have utilized this for uh, bipods, uh, shooting benches, a lot of different things you can do with that, but it's just a really nice long accessory rail that goes about halfway underneath the bottle here. The grip is proprietary. It's kind of an AR style grip that comes with it with a nice thumb shelf right here for right-handed shooters. You also then have right here, you have your quick connect. This is for supplying air to the gun and the gauge right next to the quick connect. That's the one that's gonna tell you how much air is in your bottle. So two gauges, the, the front gauge will tell you bottle pressure. The back gauge will tell you the regulator operating pressure. Just above the bottle here, there is this little um, knob looking piece here. This is your regulator adjuster. Turning it out will increase reg pressure turning it in will decrease the reg pressure. I can't recommend strongly enough to just leave that alone. We kind of mentioned on the power wheel, you have quite a bit of adjustment and it's a very fine tuned regulator. So from the factory, they do set it pretty much to maximize each caliber. So there's nothing really to be gained from cranking it up other than losing shots per fill. You can turn it in if you want power down. We would recommend contacting the service center or the local warranty center for, for things like that because it can be tedious. Moving back, you have the trigger here. This is a match grade trigger. The blade itself right here is adjustable. It can be moved a hair up down or the blade be canted left or right. There's a small set screw there. So where you can adjust it to fit you just right. Next to the magazine that stays locked in place, you have your loading gate here. This is spring loaded and secures with a magnet. All this does is ensure that pellets can't fall back out the magazine where you load it. So once it's loaded, you just set that there and then that edge right there will ensure that the skirt can't come back out from where you just put it in. The bottle that comes with the rifle is a 480 cc carbon fiber bottle. You do have the option of upgrading that to a 580 cc bottle. So if you wanted a little bit more air capacity for a few more shots, it is available the 580 cc option as well. We mentioned the select fire up here. On top of the select fire, you also have a trigger safety, which is gonna be right on top of the trigger here. On a gun that has the ability to go fully automatic, you really appreciate every fail safe. So you have the safety for the valve here, and then you also have your safety for your trigger. So right now, if uh, without thinking, I bumped it into semi, it still won't go because I have the trigger safety in place. So if then you switch it, to, they're both off, then it'll fire. But say you leave the trigger safety on, put the valve in, it's just an extra fail safe. So that's a great feature on a gun that's capable of, of dumping pellets as quickly as this one. And you do, you get a trigger safety and then you have the valve safety. The LCS SK19 does come with a one year manufacturer's warranty and will be covered against any manufacturer defect for one year after your purchase. So that is a very quick look at this really cool, exciting new product. As you can see on the film, everything is very externally pleasing. So we've checked that box. What we're gonna do now is go to 20 yards. We're gonna look at the internals and I think they're gonna be very pleasing as well. So we'll look at the number of shots you get, the foot pound that's available, and then kind of start playing with the select fire feature. So I'll meet you back at 20. We'll start crunching some numbers and we'll get this rolling. So we have the LCS SK19 in front of me right now is the 25 caliber. We filled it to 250 bar. So we mentioned it in the showroom um, that it has a fixed magazine. I'm gonna show you very quickly how to load the magazine while it stays fixed to the gun. So it is a unique design, um, but it's very simple. So all you have to do is you wanna make sure first that the trigger safety is on and the valve safety is on. So we're both in safe. 
You wanna pick up the caulking arm. That has a little hole, this has a little lock that'll hold it open. And then you also want to come on this side and open the loading door is what I'm gonna call it. So you have, you have the magazine caulking arm and then you have the loading door here. So they both are open. Right now the magazine will turn clockwise freely. So I can sit here and spin this all day long right now as long as both of these are open. So on the right hand side of the gun, there's four pellet holes here that are exposed and it is as simple as going through and just pushing them in one at a time. So once you've loaded the four that you can see, you just simply rotate it around to the next four. Obviously there's 19 slots, so you're gonna do this a handful of times. <laughs> okay, and there is number 19. So right now you can just kind of spin it to ensure you didn't miss any. All right, so we're all full. What I wanna do now is close that door. This ensures nothing will fall back out due to the recoil. And last but not least, you wanna push the cocking arm down. Right now it can't turn freely but it will when the gun fires, cycle it to the next. So we're all loaded. I'm gonna disengage safety, disengage safety, cocking arms down. It's good to go. I have loaded the mag with 33 nines. I'm gonna get a five shot group for an idea of accuracy, and then we'll start playing with the select fire feature a little bit. So let's get to it and put five right in the middle of this paper here. Okay, so there's five pretty much right, just punching out the middle center there. Um, great indication for accuracy at 20. So we went ahead and reloaded the magazine in full. I have 19 shots in the magazine. I'm gonna try and hold on to it, but we're gonna switch to full auto and see what it can do here at 20. So, we go from semi to auto. That is engaged. All right, let's see what it can do. All right, firing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that didn't get much bigger. That, that's a nice clean hole with a few outliers. Um, but when you're dumping 19 as fast as it can, it can dump them, that gets a little out of hand. Oh wow, that was a lot of fun. So fully auto, 20 yards, there it is. Um, probably a couple of seconds it dumped that whole thing in two, maybe three seconds. We dumped that whole magazine. So wow, it's a lot of fun. Um, great indication for accuracy on semi, on full. Um, good numbers here. I want to calculate how much power is available if we max out the power wheel, and then also how many shots per fill can we get when we kind of optimize it less for power and more for accuracy. So I'm going to do that in both 25 and 22 caliber for you, and then we'll crunch those numbers and see what we get. So at 56 foot pounds, we can get 70 shots per fill with an extreme spread of 22 feet per second. So that is an incredibly efficient, that's a 33.9 grain moving at about 860 feet per second on average. So incredibly efficient power for hunting, um, for long range target shooting, and you'll get 70 shots at that. So if we max out the power wheel and pull it all the way back, we are able to get about 975 feet per second with the 33.9 grains. If you calculate that foot pounds, that is just right at 70 foot pounds of energy. So in 25 caliber, you have the ability to go all the way up to 70 foot pounds, but you'll only get about 30 shots. You won't get more than two magazines at that. So lots of power potential, lots of shot potential. You just kind of have to figure out the middle, the balance point using the power wheel, what works best for you. Um, but the gun is very impressive for its size. It offers a lot of power as well as a lot of shots if you wanna make it like that. And alternatively looking at 22 caliber, on max power you can get about 1,017 feet per second with the 25.3 grain monsters. So that is absolutely screaming a 22 caliber pellet. That's right at about 60 foot pounds of energy at its absolute max. And once again, you'll get about 30 shots per fill, definitely not more than two mags at max power output. If we tuned it like we did this one at about 40 foot pounds, so that would be 860 feet per second with those same monsters, you'll get an entire 100 shots per fill. So an extreme spread of about 40 feet per second, but you can expect 90 to 100 really good tight shots before it falls off the reg at 40 foot pounds. So once again, a very impressive shot count and power output for a gun at size, either caliber, depending on what one fits your needs. You'll have a lot of versatility depending on where you set it up and which caliber you go with. We can't just keep it indoors. We gotta take it out to 50 and then probably even further out and play with some other reactionary targets.
Okay, so we have the SK19 here at our 50 yard outdoor range. We have the 33.9 grain MK2s loaded in the magazine. We're gonna give you a five shot precision group for accuracy, and then we're gonna have some fun, switch it over to full auto and just dump it. So let's get to it and put some shots on paper. Okay, so there's five down range. Let's get down there, get a closer look, and then we'll flip it over to auto and dump it. So here we are at 50 up close. I have four basically through that same hole. This one got away from me a little bit, but still we have our one inch coin for reference here. Completely covers up the five shot group. So at 50 yards, this is gonna be more than accurate enough for pest elimination, plinking, um, pretty much anything you would wanna do at 50 yards. This will give you good accuracy and the ability to follow it up with another shot really, really quickly. So we have the LCS SK19, 19 JSB King Heavies in the mag, and we're gonna do what you all came here to see anyway. We're gonna put fully auto, 50 yards downrange, see what kind of group we can hold together. So let's get at it. Woo. So there was 19, let's get down there and take a closer look. So that grouping right there is not bad. Um, I don't have much of a baseline for fully auto pellet guns at 50 yards, um, but just as a baseline in accuracy and repeatability, that's really good for how fast it was firing. I'm really impressed with that. So as you can see here at 50, this gun still is very accurate and very repeatable, but the main draw of this gun is quick fire and hard hitting. So that being said, let's take it out to the big range and have some fun. <laughs> Okay, so we have the gun out here at the Rio Salado range, and we're gonna get really creative with some targets. So, shooters, we're gonna commence firing in three, two, one, fire. Wow. <laughs> so we basically turned that to dust. Let's see what we can salvage from it. Okay, shooters, round two, ready? All right, we're gonna commence firing in three, two, one, fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I took it down. Okay, so we had a lot of fun shooting the LCS SK19. We used the semi-auto, the full auto, and we've just done a lot of things that have never been done with a pre-charged air gun before. So a lot of fun out here at the range. Let's get back to the showroom and wrap this video up. All right.
right, everybody, there you have it. The exciting, exciting new LCS SK19. Did some things that were a first for my video channel. Um, the big one being firing a fully automatic pre-charged rifle at the kind of energy it has. So this one was a whole bunch of fun. We saw it at 20 yards, 50 yards. We had some fun out at the range, even stretching it out further. Um, and this gun is just a blast to shoot. It's unlike anything on the market. And it's one of those guns that'll leave you grinning ear to ear after you pull the trigger. So give it a try. I think you'll like it. If you have any questions or want to learn more about it, please contact Air Guns of Arizona. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe to us on YouTube, wow. follow us on Facebook, join our email letter, find any way you can to stay in touch with us. That's going to do it for this video. I'm Jared Clark again. Thanks for watching, guys.